Now, our next speaker is Grigory Alexandrovich Chechkin from Moscow State University, and he will speak about mayor's estimates. Uh, first of all, I want uh, to express my thanks to the organizing committee, to Alexander, Daria, and all others who organized this conference. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here uh, in Mathematical Institute in St. Petersburg. So thank you very much. Uh, today I want to uh, present some results which uh, uh, were obtained uh, during the last uh, one and a half years. Uh, and uh, these results uh, uh, are connected with uh, some uh, estimate uh, which, were, uh, uh, which were proved uh, for the first time uh, by Bayarsky, but then uh, Mears proved it uh, in a much more general case, and now uh, these uh, inequalities are known as Mears. Of course, I can say that uh, you cannot Words, uh, words, and uh, so on. Okay, so just, but, but uh, the name is just Mayor's estimate. Uh, this estimate is uh, uh, the following. So, roughly speaking, if we have um, an uh, equation, uh, and uh, I want to say about the second order equation, uh, and if you consider another type of equations, also it is possible to obtain something similar. But I, I want to say about the second order. So, uh, uh, and the right hand side of the equation, which is the divergence of f uh, with f uh, to the uh, space L2 plus something, uh, lead to the following uh, inequality. So, the gradient of the solution also is integrable in the power uh, 2 plus something. Uh, so th this is, uh, in general, the mayor's estimate. So for the uh, first time, uh, th this uh, kind of uh, estimates, uh, as I told you, were obtained in the uh, paper uh, of Bayarsky, and it was published in uh, 1957, and it was a two-dimensional case, uh, and uh, the author considers the Dirichlet problem for the second order uh, equation. Uh, and uh, he proved this type of uh, the uh, inequality. And then, after that, in a uh, multi dimensional case, also for the Dirichlet problem, uh, it was considered by Meyers and uh, the uh, paper of 1963. Uh, just contains uh, uh, estimate. Uh, and I must say that uh, quite short time after that, uh, it was proved that the same estimates uh, can be obtained for the Neumann pool. Okay. After that, <clears throat> uh, in connection with the Termistor problem, Vasily Vasil Zhikov uh, in 1997 considered a P Laplacian equation with a variable exponent P uh, and uh, proved uh, similar, uh, similar estimates uh, also uh, for the problem with the Dirichlet condition in the, in the whole boundary, on the whole boundary. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, uh, Vasily Vasilich, with together with uh, Svetlana Evgenia Pasukhova, and uh, I'll told you about it. Uh, I'll tell you about it uh, a, a bit later. Uh, just continued this uh, uh, studies and also obtained uh, more precise uh, estimates. So, so just I'll tell you about it a little bit later. Then, in uh, the papers of Acherbi and Mingione. Uh, Dinning and Schwarzacher, 
uh, they can uh, consider the system of equations and also uh, proved that uh, you have this uh, uh, estimates of higher uh, integrability. Uh, and uh, I must say that for me it was quite important and uh, mm, mm, not, not only important, but, but uh, I need this uh, estimate for the problem with uh, rapidly changing type of boundary conditions. So if we have Dirichlet and Neumann, uh, you know, rapidly changing conditions, uh, everybody knows that uh, you, you have some problems with the solutions of such uh, uh, such boundary value problems. Uh, but uh, first of all, uh, Vladimir Alexandrovich Kondratiev told me that it must be something uh, with this higher integrability. And after that, uh, Zhikov also told me that uh, it must be like that. So I tried to, uh, to prove uh, this kind of estimates. Uh, so for the Zaremba problem. So Zaremba uh, consider he, he, his problem in uh, uh, the paper 1910. Then in Russian, uh, you can find uh, this uh, paper. Uh, I think that it was uh, 1948 or something like that. So. 48, uh, in, I think that in Mats Born, Nikola Uspichi, I think. Yeah. Uh, so uh, mm, he considered this problem. Then Fikir proved uh, that uh, in, uh, at, the, at the junction uh, of the Dirichlet and Neumann data, the smoothness of the solution uh, is lost. So uh, and uh, in general case, uh, such problems were, were considered by Vladimir uh, Lelevich uh, Mazia. So I, I want to mention uh, this paper uh, in the Klade, it's a short paper. Uh, and uh, after that, the Dirichlet uh, Neumann, so Zaremba problem with uh, rapid oscillations. Uh, so, so rapidly changing type of boundary conditions were uh, considered uh, just uh, just uh, in uh, the mid of uh, 80th of the 20th century uh, by Damlamian uh, and Lita Tsen, uh, then uh, Lobo and Perez from Spain uh, and uh, myself. So uh, it was some papers uh, uh, which are connected with the homogenization. So we, uh, we just proved, uh, we, uh, for we derived the uh, limit problem, homogenized problem, then proved the convergence, then uh, estimate the rate of convergence and so on and so on. Uh, and uh, I must say that for the, uh, this type of estimations, we need some delicate analysis and uh, such some inequalities uh, like me. Inequality. Okay. Uh, so uh, I want to say that uh, in uh, 2008, Vasily uh, Vasily Zhikov and Svetlana Evgenina Pastuhova uh, wrote quite, quite uh, interesting problem, or sorry, paper. Uh, with this uh, type of uh, estimate for Dirichlet everywhere, Neumann everywhere, and uh, one small section uh, uh, is devoted to the Zaremba problem. Uh, but I must say that uh, they considered situation when the one-dimensional measure of the Dirichlet part is non-trivial, so it's it's not, it's not equal to zero. Uh, and it was uh, the problem for the P Laplacian with uh, this variable P. Then, uh, uh, together with Yuri Alexander Alhutov, started to uh, consider these problems, and uh, we have these two publications of uh, two, uh, 2021, uh, where we uh, proved that uh, it is possible to 
uh, to deduce this kind of inequality, even if uh, n minus one dimensional measure of the Dirichlet is equal to zero. Uh, I must say uh, that the paper of uh, Vasily Vasilich and Svetlana Evgenina um, just uh, the, uh, the basis of, of the method uh, was uh, the approach of Jacquin and Modica. And, uh, uh, but, but this method uh, doesn't allow to uh, obtain such kind of inequalities uh, if the Dirichlet part uh, has the measure uh, zero. Okay, so just we, uh, with uh, uh, Yuri Alexander Chalkutov, we modified uh, this method. I must say that the uh, main, main parts uh, and main steps are just similar to the uh, paper of uh, Jack Clinton. So uh, we can consider the following type of uh, rapidly changing boundary conditions. So it, it could be a uh, cylindrical domain with these uh, rings with Dirichlet and between these rings we have Neumann or we can uh, consider uh, a domain uh, with sports okay uh, or even we can consider the situation where Dirichlet is set on the fractal uh, domain, fractal uh, part of the boundary okay so just with, with zero measure okay so uh, we consider the elliptic operator with this matrix, uh, which is symmetric and uh, uh, satisfies this inequality. So alpha is the ellipticity constant here and here is the same alpha. Uh, and uh, we assume that we have closed subset of the boundary and G is the rest. Okay, so just we have two parts, which is G. Uh, and we consider the following Zaremba problem. So uh, here we have our uh, elliptic operator of the second order. Uh, L is a linear functional on uh, the Sobolev space uh, W12 DF with uh, uh, functions with zero uh, trace on F. Okay? U is equal to zero on F and uh, Neumann condition, uh, homogeneous Neumann condition on G. Uh, so this is a definition of uh, this uh, sobel of space, which is uh, quite clear. And we consider the uh, weak or generalized solution of our problem. Uh, here F uh, is a vector function with components from L2. Uh, and uh, okay, so that just uh, it's uh, the uh, representation of our function. Okay, so just f uh, from the Hanuman theorem for for the representation, uh, and uh, to uh, formulate the result, we need uh, to define p capacities. Uh, so uh, if we have a compact set. Uh, from R n, uh, then we define the peak capacity by this uh, infimum, uh, and uh, I must say that if p is equal to zero uh, to two, it's uh, just a standard uh, standard definition uh, of the harmonic capacity, and just for p also it's just peak capacity, uh, and uh, the uh, condition uh, which uh, we assumed to be satisfied is the following. So uh, if we have uh, n greater than two, then p we consider to n over n plus two. Uh, if n is equal to two, then just uh, we, we consider p uh, equals to three, uh, over two, but but uh, of course it's just, just for simplicity, okay? So just you, you can consider any p greater than one. Uh, and uh, for any point x, x0 from our uh, okay, we have the 
open ball uh, uh, centered in X zero with radius R. Uh, and uh, uh, the uh, is, uh, is valid. So the P capacity of the uh, intersection okay, of F and this ball, uh, I want to remind you that X zero also it's a point from F. Okay? So just um, of closure of this ball is greater than a constant times R to the power N minus is less than R zero. Uh, or we can consider uh, much more simple uh, to, to, to verify uh, condition, this one. And of course, from seven, immediately we have six, okay, immediately. So if you, you can just, just consider these kind of things, it's much, much more easy to, to verify. Uh, but uh, in reality, of course, we have that one. So, so uh, and uh, later on, I'll show you an example where the measure is zero, but, but the capacity is not zero. And uh, mm, this nearest uh, estimate uh, also is valid for, for, for this F. Uh, in We, uh, of course, have this Friedrich's inequality. Then, uh, by the uh, Lux uh, theorem, uh, we have uh, the uniqueness and uh, uh, existence theorems. Uh, and uh, the main result is the full. So uh, uh, belongs to the uh, uh, space L2 plus delta zero. Okay. Uh, then there exist two constants, so delta, which is less than delta zero and C, such that we have this inequality, inequality eight, uh, and the constant C depends only of our constants R zero and C zero from the conditions. And of course, uh, delta zero. Okay. Uh, just briefly about the uh, I'll show you how to uh, how to apply uh, this result, and uh, I'll give you some examples. And also, I, I want to tell you some words about about uh, uh, another type of uh, inhomogeneous um, problems. So, with some rapidly alternating something, not only on the boundary. Okay. So uh, the proof uh, is based uh, on the estimate inside the domain and uh, in the vicinity of the boundary uh, to obtain uh, the uh, inequality uh, near the boundary. Uh, we just uh, have this uh, straightening of the boundary. So, so uh, uh, we consider a cube. Okay? Consider cube. Then, after these changes of variables to, to have this uh, straight boundary, uh, we have this deformed cube. But of course, you have the cube uh, with the size which is less than the original one, uh, which uh, is inside this deformed cube with tilde, and quite easy to uh, calculate uh, this uh, the size of this cube. Uh, then, after these changes of variables, we obtain another problem. Okay, so just in uh, k plus, k plus means uh, this part. Okay, so that's just this one. Okay, then uh, with this Dirichlet and Neumann conditions, then after that, uh, we continue the solution v of the problem, uh, of the obtained problem. Uh, uh, just uh, in the uh, lower part of this cube, and quite easy to understand what kind of uh, coefficients we, we obtain in this situation. So just uh, all uh, C is just coefficients after this continuation uh, are odd continuation of our elements 
uh, this one and uh, uh, is even for uh, any others okay the same for the right hand side so just h uh, one and uh, to, to uh, h n minus one we have even extensions and uh, h sub n is an odd extension it's, it's quite easy to calculate uh, then then uh, we consider a cube uh, which is uh, okay so just we consider a cube and we define the form so uh, integral with this uh, additional thing is uh, just a uh, mean value okay so just and uh, lambda is a mean value of our solution okay? uh, and consider the um, the test function v which is uh, well, if, uh, V minus so it's uh, solution, uh, and uh, it's quite easy to see that this the dimension uh, then uh, the constant of ellipses uh, Lipschitz constant. Uh, so the boundary, of course. It's From, from the definition of Lipschitz boundary. Uh, then we use the Poincare Sobolev inequality with this one uh, uh, two and one over p. Here p is greater than two, two, two n uh, over plus uh, two. And the Kachopoli inequality we proved in the level 15. Okay. Uh, if we have the uh, intersection of our Dirichlet uh, part, which is non-trivial with this Q. Then instead of uh, uh, Sobolev, we use Friedrich Sobolev inequality and we obtain uh, then the same inequality. Then applying the Hering lemma, it's a, um, just basic part of uh, uh, Jack Winter Modica method. Uh, uh, then uh, we have this. Uh, after uh, changing of variables back, and finally uh, uh, the inequality which we need is here. In this case, possible, but much more more easier. You can obtain uh, this inequality for the internal part of the domain. Now, how to apply it? So, uh, let us consider the following situation. We have uh, F G, uh, so two-dimensional domain, F uh, syndic, uh, with the index uh, J uh, is a part, small part of the length epsilon of the Dirichlet. Then we have the number of these parts, okay? And F is the union of these parts, okay? So just we have M sub epsilon, a number of parts, and the, the length is epsilon. Uh, we consider uh, in our domain the problem. Uh, just instead of Neumann, I put here the uh, Robin condition, just for simplicity, that's for, for the coerciveness of the operator uh, and the limit problem. Okay. Then I want to estimate the rate of convergence. So first of all, it's quite easy to uh, see that our family of solutions uh, is bounded. 
So we have this weak limit is bounded in the Sobolev, uh, the Sobolev space and the respective Sobolev space. We have this uh, weak limit in this space. Then I have a cutoff function of the following form. So if uh, S is less than one is zero, uh, if uh, S is greater than one plus sigma, uh, it is one, okay? Also it is between zero and one and uh, smooth, uh, just C infinity function. And we can see that uh, just one piece of our set F, okay, so just FJ, we uh, took one point, just middle point of this, and introduced the polar system of coordinates. Then we have this cutoff with this logarithmic uh, rate, okay, uh, and then we just multiply them obtaining the cutoff function in the whole domain. I can consider phi, which is uh, an arbitrary function from H1. And phi sub epsilon uh, is a product of them, um, such that on all Fj, this function is equal to zero. So I can, uh, the function F sub epsilon, just uh, substitute to the integral identity of the original problem, and phi, the integral identity of the limit problem, then just subtract them, I obtain that. And just to, uh, to estimate the rate of convergence, I need to estimate this integral and that one. This is quite easy to estimate, it's uh, just uh, epsilon to the power. And uh, about that, it's quite easy to see that if I uh, estimate it, without uh, Mayer's uh, estimates. So just here we have just one half and one half. Then I obtain uh, the square root of the number, okay? And it means that the number can be all, only logarithmic. Okay, it's just easy to calculate. And if I uh, use here the Mayer, you see that I can consider P1, which is greater than two, two plus delta here and p2 which is less than uh, two just this one then just uh, doing in the same uh, uh, way we obtain here logarithm plus the multiplier epsilon to the power okay so just it means that i can consider either the number which is uh, logarithmic to the power or just uh, I can consider M, which is epsilon to the power, then I have this logarithmic rate, or just both, like, like here. So uh, you see that uh, it's much more precise estimate. So it's, it, it is possible to obtain much more precise estimate. Okay, now the, no, that I have three minutes, uh, uh, an example, uh, which is the uh, set. It's, it's just uh, uh, for fun, the uh, case, because I, it's a two-dimensional situation and just I need to cut like this. So just it's a first step, then this is a second one, third step and for, so on. So just, it's just for fun. Uh, and uh, um, I consider uh, P equals to uh, over for two-dimensional uh, domain. Uh, then it's equivalent to this uh, series. Uh, if we consider L sub G, uh, J, J uh, which is A uh, to the power one minus G, uh, J, uh, for instance, if A is equal to three, it's just standard counter set. So you, you can see this. Uh, of course, it's quite easy to see that uh, the sum of the lengths of the pieces which I uh, remove, of course, is equal to one. Okay, so just it means that, of course, the length of the uh, rest is zero. But everybody knows, of course, for the counter set that we have this, uh, this, uh, this, this length. Okay, and uh, also we uh, calculated, it was the joint uh, work with uh, Mazia, 
So, and it's published just a couple of weeks ago in the archive for Russian mechanics and analysis. Uh, and we calculated that. So, uh, we obtained this uh, interesting example of the fractal set. Of course, it is possible to consider many dimensional situation and just to construct the same, uh, the same type of uh, Dirichlet, uh, Dirichlet data. Also, it is possible to consider the domains which is uh, perforated. Uh, if you perforate it is, uh, uh, the domain inside, uh, it is uh, okay, it is okay, uh, but, uh, uh, and with the conditions on the uh, holes, it's okay, but, but just, just you have this continuation by zero inside and not, nothing interesting. But if you uh, have this perforation along the boundary and the distance between the centers and the boundary goes to zero, of course, you can, can have some problems, but also it is possible to, uh, so, so we consider it same problem and uh, it is possible to prove the theorem of the same type. Okay, so thank you very much for the attention. Thank you very much. Questions, comments? Саша, ты что-то хочешь спросить? Нет? Did you try to obtain conclusivity with this? I mean, with mass conclusion, you can improve by the unit because the little bit much better. I think it is to AP. I think that the right hand side um, okay, so just I do not want uh, to uh, say something in advance because uh, uh, in this conference you you can find you can find uh, another talk which is connected also with the mayor's estimates for P Laplacian with the right hand side uh, from LP uh, and for the second order we didn't consider. So just, just uh, thank you very much for the question, but, but just L2, L2 plus something. In you have the same mayor's type instrument. Yeah. Not yeah, yeah, mayor's type, of course. Yes, yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, how is the capacity estimate on the fractal set obtained? Uh, so I, I can give uh, you the reference, okay, for, for the uh, paper. Because, because quite delicate analysis and huge uh, uh, just uh, uh, writing. Is it possible to obtain the same estimate for the non uniformly elliptic? Uh, Wait, say, uh, make and help class. I hope, I hope, hope. But we, we didn't do it. Well, let's thank the speaker again.